What would happen to a man? If he is the only man left on earth, normally when he's eating, he'd be accompanied by 12 women. Women come in all shapes and sizes. Some are curvy, while others are slim, tall ones and short ones, even dark-skinned and white ones. Today when he was eating, the 200-pound girl was the closest to the man. She kept seducing him to win his favor, but his expressions remained solemn. He knew all these women are trying to please him so they could conceive children by getting his genetic substance. Suddenly the women started clapping. The black-haired woman abruptly kissed him. The man realized something was off and tried to run, but he was subdued by the white-shirt woman. Right after that, the women swarmed over him, suppressing him against a table. Looked like they are extracting his sperm by force. The man yelled and tried to resist, but there were too many of them. At this time the security barged inside. Of course, the security guard was also female. Would they succeed? Why there was only one man left on earth? Let us start from the beginning. What would happen to the world if men are extinct? Suddenly one day, there emerged a type of virus endangering human. As long as a man is infected, in a matter of minutes, he would face a sudden death. There was no chance for emergency care. In merely one week of time, 99% of men in the world, all perished. Eight years had passed. This world was ruled by females completely. From presidents to police officers, those professions that were stereotypically male-dominated, were now all females. As the old saying, women knew women the best. After the female president was in office, everyone got a vacation of the ant flow per month. Women were having fun living their lives. Those rights that they fought desperately for before were easily attainable now. The only thing that was bummers, would be the problem of reproducing. To ensure the population of human beings, the president published one kind of lottery, and it was drawn twice a year. Only those who won, would get male sperm. These seeds were preserved before the virus, in the National Resource Facility. Everyone looked forward to winning the lottery. This is a world where there are only women. On this day, the female president was on the stage, delivering a speech passionately, boasting about how great she was. Everyone was full of admiration, and an expression of happiness, but AI alone was darkening her face. When the president said, let us build a better world together. At this time, a lump of unknown green goo hit the president. Turns out it was angry little AI who threw it. She was brought to a police station. There was no conviction or fine, but she was brought to a dark room, and someone simply shot her. AI immediately fell down, but it wasn't fatal. The shot implanted a brainwashing ball inside her body. The ball would intrude into whoever got shot, and make her mind clouded. Her intelligence would deteriorate rapidly, until she could no longer take care of herself. Luckily that AI predicted this would happen. The reason that she gets brainwashing balls a lot. She wrote a lot of notes and left them at home, to remind herself step by step. According to the contents of the notes, she removed the ball from her neck using a scalpel. In the evening when AI's sister and friend came home, they couldn't find AI no matter what. She was almost imbecile now. Where could she be? They looked for her in the entire home, but only found a towel drenched in blood, on the ground of the bathroom. What happened exactly? Don't leave yet. Something is happening. AI went missing. Her sister and friend immediately went outside to find her, but they were too hasty. As the driver stepped hard on the pedal, there was a huge bang. It seems that they hit something. Please don't tell me you crashed into AI. They immediately went out to check. The headlights were too bright they could barely see. What the black shadow was on the ground. At this time, a person shaded in the darkness walked over. They were so scared that they almost jumped. They tried to focus, and that person was AI. Turned out AI removed the ball already in daytime. Her family didn't find her, because AI went to the nursing home. AI's mom was living here. Her eyes were absent-minded, and on her temples, there were traces of the ball injected. That was why AI hated the president so much. Since it wasn't AI who got hit, who's lying on the ground, AI encouraged herself to walk up, and turn that person over. When they saw clearly what this person looks like, they were astonished. This was the eighth year of male extinction. Human reproduction could only depend on buying the lottery. Women could only get pregnant with sperm issued by government. Whereas these three women, at midnight of the day, found a man in the bushes, to examine if he's male. AI's friend walked up and gently pulled his beard. Suddenly, he grabbed her wrist. Out of instinct, she slapped him, and he passed out again. They carried the man back to the garage. AI's friend thought that, they should report this to the organization. Otherwise when they found out, that they hit a man privately, they would be inevitably implanted with the balls. But AI only wanted to save the man. There wasn't a fourth person who knew. The organization wouldn't know that soon. AI carefully bound up his wounds. Now that they got a male, conceiving babies wasn't a dream anymore. But the next day, AI and her sister were wakened up by the police siren outside. 
the organization sent someone to visit them, to follow up on AI's situation regarding her brainwashing balls. AI and her sister weren't done contemplating how to deal with this. Her timid friend opened the door, and ran out. She wanted to confess about the man and brainwashing ball. The sister pulled her to a stop, and begged her to reconsider doing this for her. If they were to come clean on all of these, then her qualification of getting pregnant would be stripped away. Turned out, she won the lottery two days ago. She became the next lucky mother to be. She had waited for eight years for this opportunity. How many eight years could one woman have? The friend looked at how the sister pitifully implored. Her feelings softened. So she didn't snitch. The people from the organization left. This was the only male in the world. Since the man wasn't awake yet, AI looked through his bag. Ropes. A knife and a bucket. There was a piece of paper inside. And AI's mother's picture was on it. What was happening? The man woke up at this time. AI questioned his relationship with her mom. He couldn't say anything convincing. This made AI doubtful about his true identity even more. AI took out the brainwashing ball to threaten him. Just when she decided to do it, she suddenly started to hallucinate. The man turned into her mom. The terrified eyes of her mother were imploring pitifully. The painful look scared AI very bad. She fell and sit on the ground and grabbed the hammer nearby to smash the brainwashing ball completely. The man stopped trying to hide these secrets. There were still many men who survived in the world. The virus in the past wasn't strong enough to make men extinct. Only a small portion of people survived, who was getting hunted down by the mysterious organization. So like cockroaches, they hid here and there. The man ripped open the hidden pocket in the bag, and pulled out a SIM card. An old man gave it to him, so he could contact the survivor security base. But now cell phones were replaced by landline phones. He couldn't find the place to insert the card at all. AI happened to enjoy collecting old stuff. There was an old Nokia available. Install the card and turn it on. An anonymous message appeared, saying, Rise. What was that supposed to mean? Was there going to be a revolution? On the other side, the sister came to a hospital to receive the final test before getting pregnant. But her body wasn't qualified to be pregnant. The elder woman on the side made it worse. She said that she won the lottery four times already. But every time she got a pregnancy test her body would fail the test. The sister got anxious. She went home and found the man. The woman wanted to get impregnated. Fortunately, she captured the last man in the world. She grabbed a glass cup wiped it clean with her clothes, and asked the man to give her a glass of sperm from 1982. The man was flabbergasted. Don't treat me like a milk cow. But he was held as a prisoner. He couldn't resist. He could only obey her wills. So he made her a glass of sperm. The sister went home to wait for incoming messages. At this time she received a call from her friend. The organization knew about the man. They had already sent people here. The call was just hung up. Several police cars parked outside, surrounding them completely. Luckily AI had already brought them outside. At this time, the phone ran again. The man picked it up, and recorded the next coordinate. That should be where the secure base was. He was the last man left in the world. Something was terrifying in front of him. The camera turned. A red dot appeared on the middle of AI's forehead. Bang. Fortunately, AI reacted quickly. She fled to the car with the man. It seemed that the mysterious organization had aimed at their lives. The four of them wanted to drive out of here first, but it happened to be the holiday of the female and Flo. Women were celebrating the holiday everywhere on the road. The crowded people made the car unable to move, so they had to step out of the car and walk, fearing the man's identity would be exposed. He was put into a mascot costume. They wanted to blend in the crowd and sneak out silently, but there were too many people. They got separated on the way. The hitman hiding in the darkness found the opportunity to abduct the man. The agile sister chased after them, she hid inside the trunk of the hitman. The hitman raised her gun and aimed, as the last man in the world. At this time, the sister appeared timely, and put the female hitman down with a tranquilizer, and saved the man out there successfully. After several days of trekking, they finally found the address mentioned in the call. Locating the secure base, the man found the place to be very familiar. Isn't this the place from eight years ago? Those men infected with the virus were quarantined. The four of them carefully walked in. The corridor was very narrow. There were rooms on both sides. Suddenly there was a loud bang noise. The door behind them slammed shut. Poison gas started to emit from under their feet. They tried to find the exit to the room. The man found a venting opening. Dismantling the lid. There was a tunnel inside. The width was exactly fit for a person to go through. They immediately climbed up to it. But without realizing that the ventilation tunnel was getting narrower. The man got stuck in the middle and couldn't move one bit. Nevertheless the poison gas behind him was still catching up with them. The man started to wiggle his body violently. The rest of them understood what he was trying to do. Seconds later, the vent broke in half. They escaped from the room full of poison gas. But the scene in front of their eyes was even scarier than poison gas. 
Have you seen men imprisoned by females, and have their sperm extracted every day? A few dozen of men were naked, and tied up, they were chained to chairs, they were constantly asking for help, there were only these men left in the world, the rest of them were all dead. At this time, a bunch of women barged inside holding guns, surrounding the four of them, what was even going on? The female president walked in, they fell into a trap, turned out that the pandemic in the past, didn't kill all men, but the president saw the possibilities of the potential power from it, so she sent killers to hunt down all survivors, the surviving males were imprisoned here, as objects with the function of reproduction, providing sperm for them non-stop, at this time, a person wearing a gauze scarf walked in, underneath it, was the face of a man, and also the mastermind behind all of these, for years, he tried to utilize all kinds of ways, to send signals to the surviving males, and attracted them to come here, so he could capture all of them, what was he trying to do? End of film. The film today is the sci-fi genre comedy, Creameries. Today's question, if there are all females in the world, and you are the only man alive, would you like that to happen? Type 111 if you say yes, type 222 if you say no, or vice versa that there are only men except you, and you are the last woman, would you like that? Type 333 if you say yes, type 444 if you say no, the film is good, feel free to check out the original film, and don't forget to hit that like button for K. Follow and subscribe, please. I'll see you guys next time, bye.